Hello there, my little Gatlings. Today, we have something really special. So, what I have here is not, in fact, a woodshop project gone wrong, though it very well could be. So, actually, what I have here is a slam fire shotgun. This, as a matter of fact, is what you could call a custom job. Um, so, yeah, literally, I got all the stuff that I needed from just the hardware store. So, a real big thanks to Lowe's for supplying all the materials I needed here. And I remember I made a tweet about this, and I said something like, here, I present to you the $30 pipe shotgun. And when I said $30, what you're seeing here is significantly less than $30. And what I meant by $30 is that I spent $30 on the materials. You could make this for, I would, argue, I would, I would say you could make this for half of that. But I just didn't cut the pipe at the store because I'm lazy. And that's just how it ended up being. It just ended up as like $30 and some change. But that's not important. What's important is that this is a functional shotgun. Now, I'm not actually gonna show you how to build this because YouTube doesn't like it when people show other people how to make guns and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna show you how to build it because that would be against YouTube guidelines and it would be totally irresponsible. But I am gonna field strip it at the end of the video. So do with that information what you will. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this. Uh, but before we do, let me just slip into something a little more comfortable. Chateau, please sponsor us, please. All right, so uh, we're about to shoot this thing. I've shot this thing a couple of times before and it worked perfectly fine. So, you know, this, there's no need for you guys to be in such suspense, like, oh, is that thing gonna blow up? Unfortunately, that would be a lot more interesting of a video, but that's not what's gonna happen. So what we got here is, I think I said it before, it's a 12 gauge, just a normal Monarch Poverty Pony shotgun shell, bird shot. Uh, and what's cool about this design is that there is a firing pin in this little cap right here. And what's funny about this size of pipe is that it fits a 12 gauge shotgun shell perfectly. Ain't that crazy. Now, there's no sights on this thing on the receiver, so I'm not entirely sure how well the accuracy is gonna be. I haven't shot at targets, I've just shot it. So we're gonna see how well she performs. And if I miss, it's totally not my fault. We got some two liters down there. So we'll just see what happens. On the off chance that you don't hit it right, the rim of the shell will actually bulge out like that, if you can see that. And that's sort of the downside to this, is that normally they'll just fall right out, but... Harder daddy. What? What? Yeah. Oh yeah. On to the next one. What do I have in this comfortable Chateau Milk Company brand hoodie? Why another 12 gauge shotgun shell, of course. Put that bad boy in like that. Ooh, and in she goes. So I shot high that last time, so I'm gonna try to lower it a little bit. It should also be noted that there's no cheek rest on here. And I, I suppose you could probably uh, snap your neck in order to give yourself the ability to use this as a cheek rest because you could you could do that, but that's such a harsh material, that stuff's just gonna, you know, kick you right in your molars. So I'm just gonna, you know, you're basically hip firing this. Okay, no, that was still, that was still high. Awesome, get that thing out. Ugh. It's mandatory that you do that, by the way. As an American, you are obligated. So let's just load another one up. Let's see if I can hit it on the third try. Hopefully, and nope, still too high. And a lot of you are probably thinking, 
Well, you know, Gats, if you can't, you know, have that thing be a reliable and accurate firearm, then what's the point of it? And that is a really good point, you know what I mean? But the point of this is not to be some tactical operator machine. It's, it's meant to be a cheap and accessible firearm. It's not meant to be accurate. It's meant to shoot. Let's see if we can't do that one more time. What's funny is that a lot of this stuff is made out of junk, essentially. If you'll notice back here on this butt pad right here, if you could even call it that, this is actually something that has lint in it. Get out of here. So if you'll notice, well, it's not so spongy anymore, but this was actually packing foam that I had got from unpacking one of the uh, boxes. And I just, you know, taped it to the end of this butt pad. And I'm surprised at how well this thing works. So what were we gonna do here? Um, I think we're gonna shoot another one. All right, so it looks like she's ready for another go. Oh no, we're out of shotgun shells. What am I gonna do? W wait, wait, I'm, I I'm getting something. The gun force. Uh, of course it's calling to me. I need to uh, call in a shotgun shell. Uh, uh, I call to thee. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's just that easy. Let's see if we can uh, hit her this time. Yeah, looky there. Huh. What's funny? How Americans smoke. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna do a funny edit there. We only got one left. Uh, ah. Going for the one on the right. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, she's probably gotten a little dirty and I haven't cleaned her yet. So, yeah, let's field strip her. Uh, so yeah, I promised you that I would take this apart. There goes my phone, don't worry about that. Most of these that I saw called for metal straps, either hose clamps or a piece of metal, like a strip that you would put down here and then you would pin it in with some nails. But I would never stoop so low as to do something as barbaric as that. You know what I mean? So that's why I use duct tape instead. So here's what we have so far. So the barrel, as I just took this off in the process of field stripping it, you can see that I've ground this off a little bit with an angle grinder because it doesn't, doesn't want to fit in there. So I had to grind this down a little bit so it would actually slide in and out properly. So this is three quarter inch pipe that the manufacturer of this firearm used. And let us see here. This appears to be some kind of wooden material, possibly from the same place the manufacturer got the barrel. Um, and it looks like it was just ground down with an angle grinder. So now you can see, this is how you remove the high tensile strength military grade uh, attachment material as specified by the manufacturer. Gosh. Whoever made this didn't want this going anywhere. And that's why rednecks love this stuff. One inch diameter black iron pipe. If you can believe this, this is actually a professional uh, spray paint job done by the manufacturer, whoever that may have been. And this is a one inch pipe cap with a hold tapped and drilled in the middle, but what's funny is that it appears as though the manufacturer used a self-tapping screw to get this job done, so that's pretty cool. And the manufacturer did not explicitly say this, um, but I, uh, I took this apart when I first got it, you know what I mean? This self-tapping screw was actually ground down to, instead of being a harsh point, it was more of a, a rounded pin as not to just, you know, punch a giant hole through the primer. Luckily, that never happened today. This appears to just be some 
uh, you know, packing foam. The really soft, spongy kind, not the styrofoam. And other than that, that is basically that. So, you know, that's how you field strip it. The reassembly process is a little more complicated. Oh, I forgot to mention. So if you can notice, on here, there's a little bit of a groove ground in here. It looks like it was also done with an angle grinder. You know, now that I think about it, one could probably make this themselves if they wanted to. But, you know, like I said, I can't teach you guys how to do that. So, sorry guys, you have to go somewhere else. And it also appears as though there was a little hole drilled in the back to accommodate for that firing pin assembly that goes in the back here. So all in all, it's a very simple mechanism. So one of my complaints would have to be the disassembly, reassembly. It's a little complicated. I kind of hate having to source this military grade, high tensile strength attachment material. I'm pretty sure you could just use duct tape if you wanted to. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, that is not what this is. Editor Cat's here. Um, I forgot to mention that there's supposed to be a one inch diameter dowel on the pipe cap so that the primer doesn't bunch too deep. Okay, bye. But that concludes the field stripping of this. And there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Chateau Milk, if you're watching, we're not joking. Please sponsor us. <laughs> Please. Um, stay safe. What would you do? Like, stay safe. Have a good one. Kiss your homies good night. Kiss your homies good night. See you in the next one.